Welcome back, everyone. This is a Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quarter wave ground plane antenna, but most of the radials or all the radials will be on one half or one side of the banana BNC plug. And I'm doing that because I have a flagpole holder um, that will give me uh, an ability to put my uh, tactical mini up. My tactical mini is about 19 feet up. And as you know, the 20 meter band for the quarter wave ground plane antenna for the radiating element is about 16 and a half feet. Um, given that uh, the wire that's all the way to the top needs to have a little bit of wiggle room, maybe a half a foot or something, I should have approximately anywhere between two to three feet above the ground, but that's pretty generous. Usually it's only about a foot uh, or a foot and a half, no more than two. And so all the radials are on one side of the car actually. So uh, the car definitely is going to be some interference, definitely, um, in terms of prop propagating the, the radio signal. There's also a fence that uh, is uh, between the car uh, or, yeah, be the, the antenna is between my, the car and there's a fence. And then farther out, there's a freeway, the 605 freeway, if you know L.A., uh, at all the 605 freeway uh, goes north and south right now I'm at um, Long Beach California at uh, El Dorado Park now let's look at these readings at uh, and this looks really nice um, so we have at 14.15 megahertz very close to the SSB uh, band uh, we have an SWR 1.5 Zero 04 that's a pretty amazing and using the quarter wave ground plane antenna is you would you'll definitely appreciate the simplicity of the antenna and the ability for it uh, to have a low SWR now uh, let's look at all the parameters here and you can see here at the uh, 14 point three zero zero which is the um uh, marine mobile network we have an swr of 1.2 and look at the um impedance 55.6 that's right on the dot that's awesome we need 50 ohms 55.6 is nothing for the radio the return loss look at that 21.58 db that's pretty amazing and so the reason why um we want to um, try this type of uh, antenna uh, right now is because i've been having some issues with my um, quarter wave ground plane antenna lately most of the time i'll have the radials on the ground i even made one with 12 radials and you know the propagation wasn't that great now i know that if i lift my radials and i did this one two times um the first time i did it i couldn't believe the um i couldn't believe the the, um, the type of uh, dxing i was doing and it, and and the solar flux was in the 80s below it might have been even below 80 um, but it was so wonderful. And ever since then, I've been trying to get a magical moment like that. And so I put more radials or I'll distribute them differently. I'll make the radials longer. Um, and I haven't really gotten to that point. So I decided this time that I was going to use a mast and then I'm going to lift the radials off the ground a little bit. Now, if you read the ARRL book, and I believe it's in chapter nine about vertical antennas. 
you'll see the theory says that if you lift the radial, you'll get better propagation or you'll get better, um, what do they call that, uh, um, induction. Now, let's look at uh, the uh, 14.114. Let's see what is going on there. Uh, okay. These numbers need to be in kilohertz. All right. There we go. 14.11 megahertz. We have an SWR 1.1. Look at that. SW, um, SWR 1.1, but the impedance is 46.7. That's amazing. And the return loss is 29.35 dB. Okay, so it's about 2.30 right now. Uh, in the winter, in about two hours maybe less than two hours, the band goes away for whatever reason in the winter. So we better uh, go back. Uh, let's go back to the radio, hook this up, uh, maybe even have the amplifier ready and see what type of, um, type of contacts we can get. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Um, I've been on the air for about two hours. The park is gonna be closing soon at five o'clock and uh, I got a few contacts way better than what I've had for the last three days uh, so let's see I was able to talk to somebody uh, from uh, Puerto Rico right that's pretty neat I haven't spoken to anybody in Puerto Rico for a long time and I think it has a lot to do with the um, radiating elements being elevated. Um, also, Kansas City, Texas uh, also heard me. Uh, these were just general contacts. And then uh, for POTA, uh, I was really surprised. Uh, I didn't go that far. But uh, let's see. I want to get this right over here. Um, Washington, California, and Oregon. Uh, a lot of them were 25 watts or 5 watts, depending on the band conditions. Um, not super, but way better than yesterday, even though it was very similar in terms of the solar flux. So having the quarter wave ground plane antenna with, ra with, the, radi no, with the radials elevated, for me, tends to be a little bit better. Try it out. Um, you know... Sure, you can lay them on the ground and you'll you'll get some contacts. But you'll be surprised when you elevate the radials, you might get a little more gain. Again, people will, will probably tell you, no, that's not true. You can put 12 radials, 24 radials, 36 radials, and yeah, you can. But for portable QRP, um, and when you want to like deploy, um, you know, with with a certain speed, you might consider four radials um, that are elevated and in my case the radials were not even symmetrical it was just a half a circle um, and I'm not surprised that I was able to talk to somebody in Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico from here is east and all the all the wires were pointing that way now um, what I've read and what I've what I've um, looked at on other resources, it seems like the radials, if they're pointing a certain way, you have a little bit better propagation. Um, all this, of course, is anecdotal data. Um, there are some quantitative uh, com um, data points um, where I feel like um, Radi the, the radios being elevated seems to be a little bit better. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, please consider subscribing. And I hope to talk to you soon. This is Whiskey Charlie Zeroski.